Now moving to the next drug, it is lofaxidin. Their name is similar to clonidin. Clonidin, lofaxidin. Clonidin, lofaxidin. Okay. So this is also alpha 2 agonist. So like clonidin, it is alpha 2 agonist. It put the break to sympathetic system. Remember the function of alpha 2 is to act like a break. So basically lofaxidin also act as a break to sympathetic system. Now this drug lofaxidin, it is approved for preventing the withdrawal symptom in opioid addiction. Now what happens is in opioid addiction or in any addiction, when the person stop taking the drug, the sympathetic activity increases because body requires sympathy. The person was taking the drug since 5 years, 6 years, 10 years. When we stop the drug, the body requires sympathy. So sympathetic system is activated leading to tachycardia, hypertension, all these problems, tremors. In particular, opioids normally inhibit the sympathetic outflow. So when opioids are not there, sympathetic outflow will further increase. So we have to give some drug which decreases sympathetic activity so that withdrawal symptoms do not occur. And that drug approved is lofaxidin. The advantage of lofaxidin over clonidin, which can also be used. The fun advantage of lofaxidin is it has lesser chances of causing hypotension as compared to clonidin. Clear?